Let's take a look at exporting and importing a rig file in Lightwave 8. In this scene, I have a character fully rigged. Uh, you can actually download this rig and character from animationsnippets.com. Uh, it's a, a setup by Christopher Lutz. But let's go ahead and take a look. I've got this character, and as you can see, he's fully set up, rigged, ready to animate. And if I want to reuse this rig that's been set up, all I need to do is go and export the rig. So I'm going to go to the Setup tab and go to Export Rig. And I need to give the rig a name. Okay. And save. I can give a description. And then I can decide if I want to export the goals and targets and, and export the goal item shapes as well. And I'm just going to go ahead and leave those default as being on. Okay, so we've exported the file. I'm going to clear the scene. And for this demo, let's just go ahead and use a null object. Okay, so this is totally different than the, uh, than the character that uh, we just used. And let's import the rig. I'm going to go set up, import rig. Uh, pick the file right here and yes I want to import the goals and targets that we um, that we exported and then for name edit method I could change the uh, the name but I'm just gonna leave it default because we're working with a null click OK lets me know what I'm what rig I'm loading in and the uh, and the, the description that I wrote and then it tells me 73 bones were created okay and the scale is a little different because of the, the null, but if I grab the null, we can see that it's set up just the way it was in the Han Solo character, uh, except uh, now it's in a completely different object. So you can reuse rig files in Lightwave 8, and it'll bring in all the IK and, and custom objects and, and uh, goals and targets and all that good stuff. So it's a pretty powerful tool in Lightwave 8, and everybody's going to really get into it.